Continue our coverage of the Commander's next chapter here in the DMV. The team has played at FedEx Field for more than two decades, but now the company is ending its sponsorship two years early. Yeah, that's going to be weird, isn't it? It it's is. Not here it FedEx just, Field anymore. It's just Commander's something. Com yeah, yeah, Commander's, Commander's Field. Field. So while the team works mm. to secure a new naming rights partner, yeah, the stadium will be called that from now on, Commander's Field. First, Desmond Purnell is digging into the name change, and Des, this process isn't just complex, but it's also going to cost a lot. Costly is right, Lorenzo. The next chapter for the commander's current stadium will indeed involve a new name. The shipping giant FedEx has ended its naming rights agreement with the commanders two years early. FedEx struck a $205 million deal in 1999 for the naming rights to the stadium in Prince George's County. The deal was set to expire in 2026. According to our partners at the Post, the move will deprive the team of roughly $15 million in revenue. The decision came less than 24 hours after the commanders announced they would invest $75 million into stadium renovations. We got statements from both FedEx and the commanders about the news. FedEx's reads, in part, we have decided to not continue as the naming rights sponsor of FedEx Field as we focus on our broader NFL sponsorship and opportunities that reflect our global footprint. Meanwhile, the commanders responded with, we have already started the process of identifying our next stadium naming rights partner, a partner who will play a crucial role in ushering in the next era of not only Commander's football, but also a robust slate of top live events and concerts. Now, Commander's owner Josh Harris has not only acknowledged the need for renovations to the stadium formerly known as FedEx Field, but he also confirmed with WUSA 9 plans for a brand new stadium. Take a listen. We're busy at work studying uh, on a longer term basis. We're studying, okay, where, where would our new home be? And uh, there's, you know, we just continue to look at uh, sites in three jurisdictions. We'll have a lot more to say about that in the coming months. It's very complicated sure. in the sense that, you know, there, each site has its own nuances in terms of the politics, um, the site itself. Is it good for football? What does it do to the area? How do you do it? And so we're, all that stuff is ongoing. So. We're working hard. Mm, a lot of moving parts in relationship to with the commanders. Let's keep in mind, guys, that the team announced six corporate sponsorships and partnerships prior to last season. So the team is optimistic that they can have similar success. And it all starts with a new naming partner. And they haven't given yeah. us any idea of timing in terms of this new. They've been practicing security. patience okay. throughout this ever since Josh Harris took over ownership back in July. That's been the message. So patience. Let's get used to Commander's Field in the meantime. Yeah. Commander's Field. <laughs> all right. You like it?